Good evening, folks. Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I think it's like April, I don't know, 18th or something, 2022. I'm turn around. What we're doing here, this is a 99 Beaver. It's mine. I'm just getting her, you know, modified a little bit. We have a custom overflow tank. It's going to go here. It's pressurized coolant reservoir, okay? So we did a couple things. That's the original one, the plastic one right there. And they leak and they crack and... So this is your main tube coming from where your thermostat bypasses or feed. And this is your air bleed. Here's your full and add mark, right? Full and add mark right there. So yeah, it's upside down. All right, here, here. Full and add mark, okay? Now watch where how this sets in here, okay? And that's the part number. Most of the Ford 800 series use these, the F5HT8. Alpha Zero Eight Zero Hotel Alpha, right there. Okay, there. So it fits up in here. All right. And like I said, this is the radiator air bleed coming out of the top of the radiator. Right there's the radiator, just the coolant. And then there's the one hose that goes to the big outlet. And then here is this one right here. It's a bleed by. And then this here, of course, the radio cap releases pressure and it goes over. Well, they had it designed where it just pours out on the ground. I'm going to take this hose from where the radiator cap goes, put it into an overflow bottle with a little coolant in. So it'll keep everything just right. Kind of like cars are done today. But here. Now, this is the way you're looking at it from here, right? So let's look at something. Do you see any coolant level marks? All right. Well, when it was... A little bit newer, it was a little bit clearer, not much. But see, you got fine cracks in it, and I was just afraid to go to Alaska. We're going to uh, we're on Myrtle Beach here about another week, week and a half, so I got to get this done. This is one of the Jeff projects, so I'm gonna turn it around again. We're gonna something. Here's a custom made one, right? All right, so there's the same tube. Let me see if I can set this up for you. Mm. all right so the only difference is this but i just got a little bit longer hose and it'll work so there's the big one right there these two all right one inch and uh and there's the plug some of them came with i took the brass plug out of here put it in here some of them came with a low level sensor okay this this model didn't remember it's all for it. so look he had most of them he puts on the sight glasses here Right, because that's where it says over here, add in, in full. All right, so watch this now. I had it custom made. Here we go. We're going to set it up there. Put you on pause real quick. All right, so now it's in the right way. All your hoses and all, right? Radiator air bleed out. Main hose from the water pump section and all. And then the small feed hoax bleed off but notice where my sight glass is i had it put out front well what i found out was when i put this back to line up with the holes here it was hitting right in there i'm gonna show you it was hitting the brass fitting or coolant if you can see the brass fitting back there right let me see that ain't fo there you go better focus all right that was hitting my fan shroud okay put you on pause it was hitting right there. All right. So what I did was I put this in as far as I could, all right? And I took the angle brackets that were already there, put a piece of aluminum back it thick enough to bring the spacer out, all right? It's a spacer to bring it out just enough so it won't rub. All right. So I'm going to put this all together. Basically, it's just some hose clamps and all, folks. But the people that make this, he's really good at his custom work. He makes all kind of overflow, anything you want aluminum. You send it to him, he'll make you one out of aluminum if it's plastic. Let me turn. It's FSR, Four Seasons Radiator. He's out of Tennessee, okay? So that was custom work. You say, oh, my God, wasn't bad. $255.82, including... Uh, the sight glass and, uh, and the shipping was free, I think. You know, don't get me lying there. Yeah, there you go. Not bad for custom work. Who is he? 
is FSR. It's www.fsrproducts.com. He's into racing. Give him a shout out. Tell him you're a member of RV Diagnostics Troubleshooting Facebook page. And also, if you belong to the website, you tell him that too. It doesn't matter. And he'll make anything you want, folks. So I'm going to end this video right now. And then I'll show you the second one where it all put in. All right. It's, it's basically that easy. Um, it's just some hose clamps, right? And then I got some special screws and there you go. There's some of the bolts that hold it down right here. All right. All right. So it ain't, it ain't that bad. And then there's one inch. I got another tubing coming for back air. I'm going to make a special tubing and I'm going to change all that hose eventually. As you can see, I've changed this one out already. All right. And yes, that is a pressure washer back here. This actually came with a custom pressure washer. And that allowed me to have a fitting in the right rear, passenger rear, and the driver's front to pressure wash. It even has a green bag. It says Beaver and a stainless steel wand. And yes, it's 22, 23 years old and it's still working. But the, the finally, the darn uh, <laughs> uh, pressure washer came out. All right. Thank you. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Hope to see you around. Remember the motto? You're right. Test not guess. Safe travels to your campfires burn bright, and I'll see you on the road again, whether it be here at the garage in Seaford, Delaware, Garage and School, 19973. Email me at jeff at rvdiagnostics.com. That's plural, diagnostics. Also, you have the Facebook page, RV Diagnostics and Troubleshooting. It's almost 25,000 members. And also, you have the website paid I think it's $118 a year. I'm getting ready to put it up to $150. I know I've been saving that for a while, but I'm going by getting all the members to renew that have already belonged to it, giving them that deal at $118, and then I'm going to shut it down and make it $150. All right, folks? The first time you use me, you saved that money. And trust me, I've helped thousands of people save thousands of dollars. All right, once again, this is Jeff. The motto is test, not guess. See you around on the second video of the completion of this custom-made coolant reservoir pressurized tank.